We had hired a uh, public relations gentleman who had worked at NASA, a wonderful man named Walter Panino. And he sent Mr. Hanna a letter. Mr. Hanna, I've been thinking about your choice of Conestoga, and at first I really didn't like it. And here's a quote from The Way West, a, a very popular book that described the Conestoga wagons as they didn't work very well. They always broke down. People never really got much past Pennsylvania in them anyway. But the Conestoga embodied the spirit of the pioneers as they moved out west. They took what they had, they built it, they got as far as they could, and they moved on. And that's why I think it's appropriate for your loved ones to be on the Conestoga flight. Okay, welcome everyone. I, I know you're anxious as I am to get down to the rocket. That's the most <laughs> exciting part. But this is an important part every, also. This is the Launch Control Center. So we get the winds, you're seeing them here at the low end, um, and we get the winds above. You'll see one or even two um, balloons go up. On the morning of launch, when this arm button gets thrown, the rocket is ready to go. And all it takes is that button there to send that signal and it will fly, okay? Okay, so now I'll have you go down and see the see the hardware. That's the okay. that's the cool yeah, part, right? Neat. Well, first I want to welcome you all to Spaceport America. We're really glad you could make it here and. Uh, Excited to see you here and hopefully you'll be able to see the launch and stay for that as well. And, and at liftoff, the motor will produce uh, about 12,000 pounds of thrust. And it'll, it'll take off with about 16 Gs, if you know what that means, which is really fast. It's really fast. <laughs> really fast. Bef before it even clears the rail, it'll be going about 150 miles an hour. Yeah, the rail's only 45 feet long. From there to there, it's already going 150 miles an hour. You all heard that, uh, that we had to scrub for tomorrow for weather, and I uh, really apologize about that. The weather looks good for us on Wednesday, so anytime Wednesday on, and the earlier the better. Um, Jerry, if you have one more minute, we wanted to thank you on behalf of Celestis for A, opening the space frontier, and B, letting us be on board. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm on. <laughs> Thank you. We often honor the people that have come the farthest for our missions. This uh, will be uh, significant of our Conestoga launch. Thank you very much. You very These are our partners in Japan. This is your chance to say goodbye. Uh, your, your loved ones are on board. They'll be the first ones to reach space because they're in the top of the capsule. So they're there. So this is, this is your opportunity to say goodbye. Take a few moments. Brady really did live at least two years worth of life for each of the 27, almost 28 years that he was with him. We miss him so much. And um, we work really hard at living by his motto. All skydivers have a motto and his is always moving forward. And also honoring his beautiful life. That's what keeps us going and keeps us inspired. And this whole experience is, is, all, is all part of that. And. Um, Helps a whole heck of a lot. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Like that, he believed in energy, and he believed in physics, and he believed in space. So I think this was a perfect thing to send him off on his final journey up into space, back with the energy from which he came, from where all of Adams came from. And so it was just, it was just great. I think this is a, this is a wonderful service, and uh, I just want to thank everybody. When we lost our little boy six months ago, um, we just knew this was the perfect place to let him rest and so that's why we are here today 
We miss our Toby every day, and we will always look up to the stars. We have one named for him. And so it's just perfect that he's getting to go to the stars. Um, our biggest comfort, that is if he couldn't see our faces when he opened his eyes, that he got to see the face of God. One of the few things that does make sense and what keeps me going in the wake of such tragedy is scattering CJ. Starting this journey to give my larger than life son the opportunity to see the world he never saw and to forever rest in locations far beyond his wildest imagination has allowed me to keep his memory alive. CJ had a huge, in all caps, personality, a 100 watt smile, a desire for all things adventurous and a love of attention. I can't think of anything more perfect, again, all caps, for my fun, loving, and outgoing son than hitching a ride on a rocket. Mr. Chafer, you couldn't have given CJ and our family a more perfect gift. Mom and our father went to many of the reunions of the generation born in space. So we decided that this would be a very fitting send-off for our mother. She took care of our father in his last years. And mom, with the strength of a frontier woman <laughs> coming from New Mexico, took care of dad pretty much by herself. Walter really did believe that there was something beyond what happens here. And we are not religious people, um, but it was this, this something bigger. And I said, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. When you come back, when you, when you die, you come back and you give me a sign that you're okay and that I'm doing okay. And this is the honest to God truth. I was out cleaning out my garden and I looked down and I literally said, what the hell? I have an iris bluey, my favorite flower. And anybody who doesn't believe me, I've got the pictures to prove it. So my friend, Walter's friend Dana said, it's a wink, and I think it is. So I think Walter's happy. feel to be a pioneer out here. Yeah, you know, it's pretty pretty cool. Well, he's made it and he's made it to the stars. We've got so. a solar eclipse schedule for today, so it's perfect. A great astronomical day also. Yep, oh, yeah, it was perfect. You just couldn't couldn't be a more fitting thing for him. This was fantastic and you guys were awesome to deal with from the very beginning. Just so compassionate and you've just been great. So we know Jamie made it to space. Yeah. We know he's back safely on planet Earth, and pretty soon we'll return him to you. Uh, what do you think Jamie would have thought? It would have blown his mind. I mean, it was, he was supposed to be doing this for me. It's a, it's a good way of remembering and celebrating his life. I think, yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the peak of the things that we're doing. John, you're here from UK. Long trip. Was it worth it? Absolutely, yeah. It, even the fact that delays, I think, made it better because you spend more time with everybody. I think if I'd been in, had the launch and left, I wouldn't have had this, the experience of meeting so many of them. Yeah, and I think that made it. It's good to be part of something that's, that's hey, it's bigger than I am and it's going to go on past me. It's, uh, it's, it's the start of something that's going to go on and help sort of humankind. Well, thanks for coming out, hanging in and making the long journey. No problem, thank you. Thank all of Celestis for an amazing experience. It's been fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. My husband and I went on a, a tour of the spaceport with um, 
the uh, Follow the Sun bus line and they mentioned Celestis. Uh, and I looked at the brochure and I thought, oh my gosh, to have mom's ashes go into space. She had been a member of what was called the generation born in space. Mm -hmm. So she was born in space. And she was <laughs> buried in space. <laughs> yeah. Also the Conestoga flight. Mm -hmm. Her grandparents had come to New Mexico by Conestoga wagon. Uh -huh. So with her being an adventurer, everything just yeah. was an absolutely wonderful send off for mom. Yes. We're yes. Very pleased. Yes. We're uh -huh. thrilled we were able to get the launch done, get your mom to space. We know she's back. We knew you would. <laughs> yes, we knew you would. <laughs> Some days it seems harder than others, but we'll sure. be persevering. So sure. Thank you very much, both thank of you, you all for coming out. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity. Yes, thank you.